This type of cast brass flanged fittings are mainly used in high pressure gaseous oxygen piping system as exempt material because brass is inert material and does not react with oxygen. These cast brass fittings are made using sand mold casting process. These are various cast brass flanged fittings kept after machining. You can see flange face serration also. Flange hole drilling not yet done. Let us see how this type of cast brass fittings are made using core pattern and mold. These are reducer making wooden pattern in two hubs. One hub is used in lower sand mold and another hub is used in upper sand mold. After casting, outer shape of the casting will be same as outer shape of the wooden pattern. This is similar wooden pattern for casting a 90 degree elbow. Then one half of wooden pattern is placed in sand filled bottom mold tray and another half of wooden pattern is placed in sand filled top mold tray. This is the wooden pattern inside sand filled mold tray. Then the wooden pattern is removed from the sand mold tray carefully and then shape of sand mold cavity becomes same as outer shape of wooden pattern. These are sand made core used for making tea and these are sand made core used for making reducer. Dimension of the core is same as inner dimension of the casting. Before casting core is placed inside the sand mold. So core provides inner shape of casting and pattern provides outer shape of casting. These are lower sand mold and upper sand mold. Before casting, upper sand mold is placed above the lower sand mold. These are tea making mold and these are reducer making mold. 
before casting sand mold and sand core are painted using flammable paint so that there will not be any moisture during casting these sand cores are now being painted these are sand mold in two parts this is lower mold and this is upper mold before casting upper mold is placed over the lower mold now this is tea making core and the core is being placed centrally in the lower mold inner dimension of casting will be same as outer dimension of the core left side mold is bottom mold and right side mold is top mold right side top mold will be placed over the left side bottom mold to get complete mold cavity these four holes are for centering now right side top mold is being placed over left side bottom mold this is complete mold molten metal is poured through this right side hole and other three openings are called riser when inside mold cavity will be filled completely with molten metal molten metal will come out through these risers now molds are ready for casting and before casting firing is done on painted mold to remove moisture from sand then upper mold is placed over lower mold and funnel is provided on upper mold for pouring molten metal this is electric induction furnace where brass ingots are melted for pouring into the molds these are high tensile brass ingots material standard as per bs 1400 grade htv1 then molten brass from furnace is collected in a pot and poured in the mold अन्ना 
after casting we get this type of cast fittings with risers then the risers are cut from the casting using power saw then the cut faces made smooth in lathe machine before machining the reducer in cnc machine otherwise cnc machine will be damaged for this rough surfaces then the faces of the casting is machined using cnc machine After machining in CNC machine, we get this type of smooth finished flanged end reducer T etc. and serration is also done on raised face in CNC machine. Then bolt hole drilling is done on flange face using drilling machine. Finally, we get this type of cast brass flanged elbow flanged t and flanged reducer